Hi, my name is Darlington Moyo, Senior Software Engineer here at Matillion. Today we're going to look at working with semi-structured data in Matillion ETL for BigQuery. So let's get started. So here we have a new line delimited JSON file that con contains six objects. Looking at the structure of each object, we can see that there's a name struct that contains first and last name. There's also a tags array that contains strings. We have another array called range that contains integers and another array called friends that contains structs. And inside the structs, there's an ID and a full name. Now let's look at loading this file into BigQuery using Matillion. The first thing we need to do is create a table we do this by dragging create table component and connecting it to the start component. Give a table a name. Now we need to define the metadata. What you'll notice is that we've added a new checkbox which allows you to define nested metadata. You can define the met nested metadata by right clicking, clicking add, and then giving a column name, for example, we have a column called index, which is of type string. You can also add different types. For example, we can add an array or a struct. For the interest of time, here's one I did earlier. As you can see, I've added the metadata to match the structure of the file. The only thing I haven't done is add the friends array, which we're going to do together here. I'll do this by clicking add. We know friends is an array, so the name is friends of type array, which contains a struct. And inside the struct, we've got two fields, one ID of type integer, and full name of type string. Now that's validated, I can run this to load the data into, into the table, which I'll do now. Now that's run, we can view the data in a transformation job. So let's do that now. We're going to use a table input component to view the data. So I'll just drag a table input component, find the table that we specified, Drag all the columns through. And now that's validated, we can look at the metadata. We can see that it matches the structure we defined earlier. We have a name struct which contains first and last name. We also have the tags array, the range array, and the friends array. Okay, let's switch into the sample tab. Let's get a row count and six as we expected. Now let's get a sample of the data. Here, as you can see, tags is shown as an array of strings, range is shown as an array of integers, and friends is shown as an array of structs. Now that we have this data, we can begin to transform it. For example, we can flatten these arrays using the extract nested data component. All I need to select here is the columns that I want to flatten out. You can se simply select all, or select whichever ones you want to bring through. In this case, I'll select all. Now that's configured, we can look at the sample, do a quick row count. We can see that there's more rows. Looking at the data, we can see that this is now flattened and all array values are in each individual rows. We can also go the other way if we wish to. Say for instance, if we wanted to create a structure, we can use the construct struct component. Here I can define the columns that I want to appear in my struct. For this example, I'll bring through email, phone, and address. I'll also rename the output column to contact info. Now that's done and validated, 
we can look at the metadata. And as you can see, we have a struct called contact info, which contains phone, email, and address. We can also sample this. Looking at the data, we have contact info, phone, email, and address as expected. I hope you found that useful. For more information and support, please visit matillion.com or start your free trial of Matillion ETL for BigQuery on the GCP Marketplace. Thank you.